Hi guys, I'm Liviu and welcome back to my channel. Right here on the table I have the T16 transmitter. I've talked about it when it was launched, but in the meantime Japor TX released the Pro version of the T16 which has whole gimbals and um, internal RF module which is a multi-protocol module and I have received from Jumper the whole gimbals and the internal module PCB and I will show you what uh, you need to do to um, upgrade your normal Jumper T16 with the um, whole gimbals and internal module. For that we will need to um, open up the transmitter and for doing that I need to take out this rubber pieces here we have some screws to take off put them aside not to lose them okay do we need to release these two I guess yes there are some uh, Allen screws up to the top and I need to release them a bit. We need to release the side section also. And now we have the um, transmitter opened. So, um, first let me take out the RF module from here by the way this is an unpopulated RF module that sits here if you can see it it has all the parts there and what's funny about it is that it has all the component values on the PCB so I guess there would be a great chance for you to modify the external multi-protocol module this one take the RF module that is soldered onto this PCB transfer it here transfer all the important uh, parts on this uh, little uh, unpopulated PCB transfer the MCU and after that try and uh, reflash it through the um, transmitter or at least that's my opinion that it will work you need to work a bit but um, I guess it's possible I will release the cables that are connected to the gimbals You have four screws that um, hold the gimbals down. Be sure not to lose them like I did. We have one here in the back. Be gentle with the cables. And unfortunately we will need to take out this uh, pot here because it's in the way of the screw that holds the the gimbal down we have two screws for this uh, potentiometer here take care of the screw let it dangle a bit and the last screw from the gimbal is out and we can take it out like so let me take the upgraded gimbals which have hole and not potentiometers if you look here closely this is the upgraded one this is the one with the potentiometer and slide it in easily be sure not to damage any flat cables take the screws and start screw them in here usually a magnetized screwdriver will help a lot if you can see 
my screwdriver holds the screw pretty easy and that makes it more easy just like this one gimbal is finished now I will have to put the pot back I guess both of the screws are thinner no only one of the screws from the pot is uh, thinner the one on the top so be sure to, to not lose it yeah I have some uh, ratchet here on the throttle and I don't like that the wheel if you, as you can see down and now let's switch to the other gimbal first I will take the pot out from the other side and put it aside Take the screws from the gimbal out. This is a pretty straightforward operation. Just be careful not to kill any flat cables and you are good to go. I took all the screws out, release it, take the new gimbal, place it here it has some uh, plastic pins for guiding it so if you place it the right way it will uh, be placed centered on the screw holes next screw We have one more here. And we finished with all the screws. As you can see, we have one screw there, one there, one here, and another one there. So four screws in total, pretty straightforward. Now I will take the pot screw in the top thinner screw and the lower one which is the same like the one on the gimbals place the little rocker back on it and now let's move to the RF module so this is the internal RF module as you can see, the original Jumper T16 already had the module, but unpopulated. For those of you that want to think of it, you can transplant everything from the external RF uh, module that the T16 came with and try to make something out of it. If not, just buy this um, upgrade and you are good to go. Okay, uh, I will release the antenna from the SMA. I will place the module here in its place. Take the original three screws and uh, make sure it's tightened down. everything is secured right now in the upgrade package we have two more screws that came with the RF internal module upgrade and these two screws we are going to use to secure the SMA here I don't know if you can see or not but the SMA has a hexagonal shape that locks into the plastic and after that we have this piece here that secures it 
and for that we will take the two screws and hopefully we can align the screw well and tight this plastic section down and you can tight it how much you want because it's plastic and it will bend a bit but now our SMA is pretty secure down there before you close anything up look at all the connections you have to reconnect and be sure you plugged every connector where it's supposed to like this one here is for the gimbal this one is for the RF module board and I guess it holds all the serial connections and all that it's needed for the external RF module and the internal one and we have one more connection here that goes to the gimbal we plug it in and at least for now the upgrade is uh, finished we changed the gimbals and the RF module and we connected the SMA back there all I need to do now is just um, put the cover back screw them in and I will come back and show you what you will need to do in the software after installing the hardware upgrades and now let's power up the transmitter As you can see, my throttle is not going all the way down and that's because we didn't calibrate it, our new gimbals. So we will go into the system and we have calibration. We have to move all the sticks and sliders. And we finish the calibration and right now you will see that our throttle is going all the way up and down next we will need to make the internal module working and for doing that I will shut off the transmitter I will hold this T1 and T4 pressed inward and press the power button up top you have this USB connection I have connected it to my PC and if you go to the jumper website you will find there a firmware for T16 which is version 2.3.0 I downloaded the English version and I will copy that onto the firmware folder on the SD card I will disconnect the USB and right now I have right firmware on the screen I can select it and press enter you can see here the file I transferred on the SD card I will press enter everything looks to be ok and I have to hold enter long to upgrade it and right now the transmitter is upgrading its firmware to the latest we have write completed I will press return exit Welcome to Jeopardy X. Switch warning. of course you will need to also change the contents on the SD card from the 2.3.0 OpenTX uh, version and that's it if we go here to the model we can see external is set to crossfire and internal it's set to off now we can change this to multi 
and change the protocol here to whatever we want. So yeah, now we can have an internal module for 2.4G multiple receivers and we can also install a an, uh, crossfire on the external GR port. Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope this uh, was helpful to you and don't forget to subscribe if you didn't do that by now and also leave your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you very much and uh, till the next time. Bye.